Cyber is so far. Randy Chastain's header twanged off the crossbar. The finish of last week's 1-1 tie with Boston. And it's been penalty kicks following hotly disputed fouls that have victimized the team two games in a row. Going two significant injuries, it's been a tough start. Philadelphia undefeated with Kelly Smith goal capping a 2-0 win at San Diego in their opener. Then the charge played to a scoreless tie in Atlanta. Today, they hope to continue unbeaten at their home opener at Villanova. From Villanova Stadium on the campus of uh, Villanova University, it's WUSA Soccer, the Bay Area Cyber Rays, and the Philadelphia Charge. Hello again, everyone. Hal Ramey along with John Doyle. Welcome to Villanova and John for the Cyber Rays road game number two. They came oh so close at Washington in their opener. Yeah, they played great in Washington. They played great at home. They created tons of scoring opportunities. Unfortunately, they only had one, but uh, they just have to be careful here. Continue what they're doing and they'll, they'll have success. One thing that uh, has not characterized this young season for Bay Area Cyber Rays, good fortune. There have been a couple of significant injuries. Uh, penalty kicks to beat them, uh, some missed opportunities, it's been tough, John. Yeah, but the good thing is that they're creating chances, and they just have to continue creating these chances, and it'll pay off for them, and, and they just have to be a little careful in their own box defending. And, of course, they broke through last week, that first goal caught here with a brilliant effort. Yeah, you know, well-deserved. She was, she was playing terrific the whole game, and finally she gets the goal, and then, unfortunately, she, she twists her ankle. That came in the 88th minute. She did not make the trip. So a couple of lineup adjustments for the Cyber Rays today. Carrie Dorn into the starting lineup, along with Teresa Wagner. Yeah, I think they're going to miss Kelly Lindsay. She's back at school taking some final exams, but they'll get her next week. Uh, I think they, they just have to continue what they're doing, and they'll do well. Yeah, Kelly should just miss the one game going back to Notre Dame to finish up. As for Philadelphia, the charge a 2-0 win in their opener, then a scoreless tie at Atlanta. Yeah, and here's Kelly Smith. They're really going to miss her today. She's a bull workhorse up front, scores gold. But what better player to come in and replace her? Lori Fair will move on to the uh, front line today in Smith's absence. Yeah, and she's done it all. She did it all in college. She's done it all with the national team. She's a star in this league, and we're looking for great things out of her today. It should be a pleasure to watch. All right, the home opener for the Philadelphia Charge and the Cybrays looking for that first win. We'll be back with a look at the starting lineups and the opening kickoff, so stay with us. Michael Edo owns a Hyundai Elantra. I drive 1,000 miles a week, and the gas mileage is outstanding. Kiplinger's personal finance says the Elantra is the best new car in its class. Today's game is being brought to you by Yahoo Sports. Find all the latest Cyberace news, scores, and player information at sports.yahoo.com. Well, we've got a sunny afternoon here in Philadelphia for the home opener for the Philadelphia Charge and the crowd settling in. This Charge team has done well on the road with a win at a tie, and today the Cyber Rays just really want to get in that victory column. Yeah, it's a big game for them. I mean, they, they, they've played well, and that, that's the important thing, and they, they need to continue playing well, and they'll, they'll create opportunities like they have, and they'll keep things going. Keisha Bean starting at keeper again, and there's a look at the Benihana starting lineup for the Cyber Rays. Yeah, they need to make sure they get the ball into CC. When she gets the ball to her feet, she's a great player. She can control things and really start the attack for the Cyber Rays. For the charge, getting the starting goal again will be Saskia Weber. As you have a look at the bench of the Rays, there's Weber. Two keepers, two shutouts thus far for the charge as uh, Melissa Moore was injured in practice, broke a hand, but Weber stepped in, came up with a shutout at Atlanta. And there's the Benihana lineup for the Philadelphia Charge. Yeah, and they have Doris Fitch, and she is just one of the best central defenders in the country, really in the world. So she'll be one of our stars in our, in our league here. The Charge. Hoping to please the home fans, there's a look at Mark Ricordia and their head coach. As they have opened up with a 2-0 victory at San Diego, then a 0-0 tie at Atlanta last week. Well, the fans getting their first look at this team here in Philadelphia and hoping they can continue unbeaten. Of course, it's late afternoon here, but a sunny day, temperature around 65, should be ideal conditions. Yeah, it's ideal conditions. They're playing on AstroTurf, and every time you're on AstroTurf, we were talking to Ian today about that. He said that this turf kind of, the ball catches and stops, slows down a little bit. So 
I think we're going to keep the ball in play a little more, but again, they have to play the ball to feet. You can't play the ball into the spaces on turf because when you do that, the ball will be out of bounds half the game. And of course, Joey, we touched on it briefly. The Zyberay's having to make the lineup adjustments here. Vanderini lost the first week, caught you an injury, and today uh, Kelly Lindsay out of the line. You lose three starters. That's tough. Yeah, it's, a, it's tough on a team, but they have good players. I mean, they're all professional players here. They're excited to get the opportunity to start. Ann Cook's going to come in, and then Story Staples is going to move into the middle of the defense. Lisa Nanez has played real well in there last week. And, and a surprise, Brandy's going to push into the midfield. And her in the midfield, I think she's going to generate a little more offense. And, and I say they, they have something at stake in this league, and, and they want to score goals and push forward. So it should be real exciting to see her play in the midfield. Yeah, it will be. Brandy, of course, fresh from an appearance on uh, David Letterman again this week, a return engagement, and uh, she threw it right back at Dave, didn't she? Yeah, I think she kind of melts David Letterman. You know, you see her on, and, and uh, Dave, Dave just sitting there, and he's, he's smiling. He's, his, his cheeks are turning red. I think he likes having her on the show. Well, why not? Uh, you saw the players looking skyward, and that's the reason why. Skydiver coming in, looking to hit the spot right in the center circle. There is a little bit, uh, a little bit of a breeze here, John. How are you at this? I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking he's coming into the booth, oh, let's hope or not. she's coming into the booth. We'll get a shot when it comes into camera range, but uh, here we go. He's going to come pretty close to the pier. Oh, wow! Not the bad. X by five feet. Yeah, not bad though. You get, you get points for landing in the circle. Oh yeah. Now, now I think we can get on some soccer here, can't we? So we're well, waiting I would for hope so. Yeah. Well, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's more. Oh. Our scouting report says there's another one. Yeah, here it comes. This one's going to stay out of the booth, I think. Oh, this, is, this one looks a little better, though, Hal. I think this one's going to make it. Coming in with oh, the stars he... and the stripes appropriate here in Philadelphia. Oh, I oh, called oh, that one way win. off. Now you're going to have to look for uh, something else in the stripe of that. Yeah. Time. Man, I thought that one was going right down on right on the X. You know, I think it's caught an updraft. Updraft. That's what they say. Well, the Rays back on the road here and then coming home to begin a new homestand, three game stand starting next Sunday. Carolina Courage will visit Spartan Stadium. It'll be Mother's Day, so bring mom to the soccer game next Sunday. That should be a, a great day for women's soccer. And, uh, you know, you're lo I'm looking down here at the field, and you look at the women getting ready for the game. I mean, this week they had to prepare. They had to put on different turf shoes, get ready for AstroTurf. It is a different game on the turf. You see most of them have the sliding pants on so they can slide. When I was started my career, they didn't even have sliding pants. You had to just put a little Vaseline on your legs and hope you didn't get any burns out there. Well, they worked out two days at uh, James Logan High School in Union City, which has the AstroTurf, so... They should be accustomed to it. Then they traveled Friday and worked out here yesterday. But it's, uh, it is a little different, that's for sure, if you're not accustomed to it. And they're a team that likes to keep possession of the ball. So, uh, I mean, with, with the ball at your feet, turf is a, is a great thing. You get a real true bounce on it. You get a true pass. You just have to be careful that you don't overcommit defensively because sometimes you'll, you'll overcommit and the ball go right by you. Good look at Lori Fair there. John mentioned earlier from Los Altos. And... Uh, Already at the age of 22, 84 appearances on the U.S. national team. Yeah, that's quite a record to be that young and have done so much in soccer already. What a bright future for her in this league. I mean, to have a league at 22, start playing, uh, she can. She must be so happy and uh, excited for this. And a look at the Cyber Rays who are getting ready for the kickoff. We are running uh, a couple minutes late here. But on opening day, that will happen. Yeah, the festivities, you know, they have to get all those things out of the way. This is the home opener, so I think yeah, all the girls are excited. The, the Cyber Rays have got all the home openers, you know, their home opener out of the way, the season home opener out of the way, and now now they they have the home opener here. Brandy's expression there in contrast to uh, the look on her face when that ball hit the crossbar in the closing minute last week. Yeah, that was a great effort, you know, sometimes you just don't get it down, but again, with CC taking the corner kicks, they're going to get plenty of opportunities to score. So now we are moments away from the opening kickoff. Some remember the soccer balls being sent up into the stands. 
And I think both teams are going to set up in a 4-5-1, the systems they're going to play. And a lot of times when you set systems are kind of strange. A lot of times you'll set yourself up in a system, but it doesn't really mean anything because you end up playing, playing where you end up in the game. So I think the 4-5-1, you kind of have a lone ranger up there, up top trying to score goals, but she's going to need a lot of help from the other players in the Cyber Race to join in on the attack. That should amplify on Kakia while we have just a moment, John. She began working out at midweek. I was at practice Thursday, and she was jogging on that uh, left ankle injury, but only at about 50%. So I, I really think the wise thing to do is not to rush her back, especially on Africa, because so they hope, hope she'll be ready next Sunday. Yeah, it's pretty scary when you, you come out here on the turf. I mean, with a the, with the dodgy ankle, I think they, they did the smart thing, leaving her at home. It's a very long season. No, no need to injure that ankle permanently. There's a look at Venus James getting ready. And Rebecca McDowell of the Philadelphia Charge. A little more ceremonial festivity in the center circle. Yeah, and Doris mentioned she is the only uh, player from the German, well, from the German national team, but she's the only foreign player that is a captain in this league. So that says a lot about her. She is just supposedly a rock in the defense back there. And we look forward to seeing her play. Yeah, that's a high compliment. There you see with the yellow armband. As you've uh, noticed by now, the charge wearing their home red uniforms with the black trunks, the red stocking, cyber rays in their traveling silver attire with the purple numerals and trim. And we are underway. The cyber rays move from our left to our right in the opening half. Guard does it knocked away. CC after the ball, but knocked back the other way. As no one can gain much possession. Here's a back pass sent back to Saskia Weber. Interesting story for the charge. First game, Melissa Moore posted the shutout at San Diego. Then she suffered a broken hand in practice. And she will be lost for four to six more weeks. But Weber stepped in and Came up with a shutout at Atlanta. Yeah, that's pretty nice to have your backup as a national team goalkeeper, and I, I think that was a tough fight for that position. And uh, fortunately for Saskia, she got she's getting a chance now. Got to make the best of it. Flag is up. We have our first offside call of the afternoon. We'll have to take a quick look at that on the offside. I, I think they're usually pretty close. It's done a great job in the league so far with the offsides. Offsides is when there is less than one there's one player between the ball and the defender Misha Bean drives it to midfield head to the air by McDowell one by James Wallace with a touch Dorn getting her first start sends it upfield CC after it headed by Walsh there's no one able to sustain much possession here Cook yes. after the ball and and that goes to James. And that's usually the way it is at the start of the game. Any game, it's, it's helter skelter, the ball flying around. You just have to settle into a rhythm in the game. And I think we'll see we'll see the Cyber Rays settle into that rhythm. Again, they got to get the ball into CC's feet. Once they do that, she'll calm things down. Cohen comes up to Murray on the left side. Two defenders there, but it's it off to James. And uh, double team is taken away. CC can't quite win it. Out to midfield, it goes to Margaret Olaf's daughter. He's a member of the Icelandic national team. And it's got away it again, but sent back the other way. Yeah. Weber out of the box to clear it, but the flag is up for offside. And when you're playing offside, what they're trying to do is, is what they're trying to do is they're trying to push up. And they're going to keep a flat line in the, in the defense. Doris Fitchin will pull up and she'll try to create offside chances. Pitching over to Jennifer Teachin. Out right of the middle, it's cleared by Bryan. She had throw in for Philadelphia. And I think Tori Bryan will try to do the same thing on the other side. And what it does is condenses space on the field so the, oppose, the opponent doesn't have space to play into. Teachin to make the throw in, winds up and launches one down into the area. Cleared by Chastain. That's going to be very dangerous. They have to be careful and be aware of things with that great long throw. Oh. Shot just high and wide. Good effort by Fitch in there. 
Yeah, I think we got to see a little bit of Fitchin coming forward, too, and, and that's a sign of a good defender. Once you, you lock down all your defending responsibilities, being able to get an opportunity like this and come forward, you're, the numbers are always wrong, so you're always a free player when you attack out of the back. Doris Fitchin, we mentioned she considered one of the top central defenders in the world. She's been a member of the German national team since 1986, 136 appearances, a 99 World Cup All-Star, and to help Germany win European titles in 1989, 91, and 97. Ball blocked and crossing the sideline. Go into the side race. Yeah, this should be a good matchup today with uh, Thorey Bryant playing against Lori Fair up there, both with great amount of pace. The man in yellow today is Todd Perry, the referee. All headed by Liu Ailing, and she's another world-class player. Started for the Chinese national team since 1987, number 10. Yeah, and she, she's just a phenomenal player in the midfield. I think the only thing they'll try to do is exploit her on defensively. She's not a great defender, but boy, is she a terrific attacker. Weber collects that one. And sends it upfield, Chastain after it takes one of those high astroturf hops and Brandy can't get it. Maybe she did it with her hand. Free yeah. kick. Took a skip there. So it'll be Fitchin to take the free kick in the front of the center circle as Brandy gets the defense organized. He's actually starting in the midfield alignment today. But she's got a lot of experience there. Dorn goes up, can't win that one, and he's headed back to Bean. Yeah, that's a great effort right there. I mean, the ball put into Aaron Martin, and it's good. It's a diagonal ball in. You're trying to get it back into the middle of the goal for the oncoming forwards. Aaron Eric. Martin, number seven there, John, was uh, All-American as a senior at Stanford. Back 10 player of the year. Yeah, she scored a few goals in her career, 249 goals for Stanford. Scramble at midfield. Selected by McDowell. Yeah, now the game's settled down a little. They're getting to see some possession of the ball. Benson starts up the left side, and this is taken away, intercepted by Nanya. All the way through to the keeper it goes, picked up by Weber. Strollers after five minutes, 40 seconds here at Villanova. Ryan wins that one, got a foul called near the center circle. Free quick kick quickly taken by Chastain. Cook on the left side, back to Brandy. I do. Ship it down for James, but it's cut off and back to Weber. Back pass, you had to clear it with her feet. And the charge having trouble, it'll be a throw-in. Yeah, she was lucky there. She didn't find that one in the back of her net. Back of her net. That was a poor clearance. But again, I, I like when they get the ball into CC. That wasn't the best of touches for her, but it's the right idea. Nanyas will run this one down. Back That's to midfield to Walsh. And a nice pass. Norris Walsh taken away by Benson. Up the left side, this is onside. And just lets it go through to Bean. Good decision by Lakeisha. She needs just a commander box today and have good distribution. Headed back in the center circle. Chastain sends it forward again. Here's Wagner getting her first start. Drives into the box. Out comes Weber. John is an old defender. Let me ask you this. The Diver Rays have it to change things defensively. Dorn in the starting lineup. Uh, Cook really dropping back this week. Make this two or three changes. Not desirable, but so uh, no far, it looks strong. Yeah, I mean, defending is all about continuity, and, and unfortunately, they've had to make some changes, but it's early in, in the inaugural season, so I think they're just trying to find their feet, trying to find where players should be, and, and with the injuries, they've needed to do that. And the players always adjust. I mean, it's usually just an excuse if you say, oh, we're playing with a few new players, and we, met, we made mistakes. Well, that's why the bench depth is always so important. That ball is deflected. It'll be a going for the cyber race. Yeah, and I, we're going to get to see a long throw here into the box. Very dangerous to the head of Brandy Chastain. This puts the defense under pressure. Gary Dorn will make the throw. She confused me with the short throw, but a good idea. And Wagner and Wagner is fouled by Eileen. Yeah, and now we'll get our first opportunity to see CC on a free kick here. She's been so dangerous on these free kicks and been able to, to find the head of many of her teammates so far, and unfortunately, they haven't been able to finish yet. Sooner or later, it's going to pay off. Three-person wall. 
This should be an end swinger. Over to the far side, and Wagner gets there, but keep her out of cover easily. Just couldn't get her foot around there and get it back in across the middle of the goal. There's enough of a breeze, John, and this is a low stadium, so it could be a little tough to judge that wind on your first free kick like that. Yeah, I think she's got to find, just kind of find her range, and, and it, taking a free kick off AstroTurf's a little different yeah. than off grass. Sometimes that back heel kind of hits the ball and it sends it flying, or, or you stub it a little bit, but she, she'll find a rhythm. Here's Teachin. She made a long throw in before, and boy, look at that. Headed away by Dorn. Chastain will clear. One thing that's always kind of fascinating to me, John, certain players, Chastain is certainly one for the Rays, have the ability to make just uh, significantly longer throw-ins than others. Yeah, and, and you know what? It's really, it's not strength so much. It's just technique and doing it from, from a young player. You, 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 you practice and practice your technique gets good. Next thing you know, you're throwing the ball in 20, 30 yards. Seems as though every team has a player or two who are just, uh, you know, a world better at it. Yeah, and it's on, it's a weapon. On, yeah, it's a great weapon. It's very dangerous on, on fields of this, this width where you can get it in like a corner kick. You see one of those kind of high off the curve pots that's uh, coming to play. And of course, Philadelphia hasn't had uh, much chance. I'm sure they've trained here a time or two, but you, you don't want to make it a habit of practicing on Astro. It's too tough on the lake. Yeah, it really, it really wears on the knees. Long ball out to the top of the box. Bean will let it go on through, right down into the corner. That'll be a throw in. Tisha Bean will be. Subject of a special halftime feature today. Great All-American career at Notre Dame. She and uh, Kelly Lindsay, who is not here today, actually played here at Villanova while uh, going to school at Notre Dame, but not actually on this field. They, they play on the grass field uh, literally across the street here. And that was great distribution. That's what she's got to do. When she finds CC into spaces like that, unfortunately it went out, but as she finds her into spaces, that's when they're going to be dangerous. 11th minute of action here, no score. One pretty good effort put forth by Fitchin in the opening minutes. That's been the most dangerous attempt thus far. Here's Benson running one down and sending it back to her keeper, Weber. Yeah, and Weber's having trouble with the ball, so they want to pressure every opportunity they get, even if it's rolling right to her. And usually the turf is easier to strike the ball. It's not going to take a bad bounce, Margaret, it's a true bounce. Yeah, she's having problems back there. They got to pressure her. I think here. I just heard the voice. <laughs> Mark Gregorian there yelling out at the uh, Margaret Olsdotter. And I think we're going to get my long throw that I was talking about. Brandy's going to get it in there. You see, she's going to get it in the mixer. Boy, right down near the near post, headed up by Eileen, comes out toward James, having trouble clearing. James gets another foot on it. Now it's out to uh, Nanya as he gets the base of it and finally cleared to midfield. Dorn will gain control. And that's nice control by Dorn. And they'll settle her into the game a little bit. Her first start. Foul call on Heather Mitz against Chastain. Free kick. Olaf's daughter back to clear. Now Benson has trouble. And a push is called free kick for Philly. And Benson down. And speaking with Ian today, uh, I mean, one thing he wanted his team to do was pressure. Was pressure the teams and, and get a little closer together. Benson will get another look as Walsh gave a little shove and didn't look like it. Terribly dangerous fall, but uh, I'm not the one who fell. Got a pretty good hip there, actually. Might have been injured before landing. And, of course, landing on this AstroTurf, John, and, and this is not nearly as uh, soft and forgiving to walk on as uh, where the Rays practiced at uh, Logan High School. It's just not the same as falling on grass. Right. You never, I mean, everybody says there's the new sport turf, there's this turf. They say, oh, it's great. It's just like grass. Well, it's not just like grass. It's, a, it's much harder. It's a great surface for its durability, but to play soccer, soccer should be played on a beautiful surface. Benson limping off. I, I think that may have been from the hip action up above before she actually fell. Whatever, she will try to run it off. For now, they'll play one player short. And again, I was uh, touching on the fact that Ian wants them to pressure a little bit before the injury. What they need to do is, is pressure them in their own end. He thought their, sep their distances were a little too far from the midfield to the forwards. Martin gains control for the charge. Down the middle toward Fair. Fair has had many touches. She's double teamed. Oh, nice play. Cleared out of there. And headed away again by Wagner. McDowell to midfield. 
Keechan. Over to Kitchen. And a national veteran. Yeah, and they're, they're pressing up real well right now, Cyber Rays. And that looked, oof, looked like an offside to me, but they'll, they'll run her down. I thought so. I Ling finally gains control with the use of her hand, I believe, and free <laughs> kick. It's a little international play there. Yeah, that looked to be offside from the start, but... Uh, Daniels had her hand up right away, but the uh, referee's assistant didn't seem to agree. That's right. That's the international sign. You know, you walk up to the referee before a game, you say, hey, every time I put my hand up, you call offside. You put your flag up. What do they usually say in them? <laughs> they, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> they look at you and laugh. Fair with another touch there into Martin. Two three defenders, but... Pass comes over the sideline, throw in. Yeah, they're doing a great job, the defense, of just pressuring right now and condensing the space. The charge have no nowhere to play the ball into. It's too crowded in there. Well, I think you have to say, John, that the uh, Rays defense, having surrendered only two penalty kicks in two games, has acquitted itself very well. That's a little tough. Yeah, and they haven't given up many opportunities to other teams. Sometimes you don't, <laughs> like the Cyber Rays right now, they've, they've made tons of chances and haven't been able to score any, really, one. But uh, and, and teams that have defended against them haven't defended that well, but they it looks like they have. Boy, Walsh made quite a steal for my Ling there. Doesn't pay off in the end, and now pitch and clear. That's a terrific ball. And James wins it nicely from fair. Walsh, oh, that's blocked. McDowell takes it away. Fair spinning around. Nice move by Lori. And splits a couple of defenders. Look out. From the side, Chastain comes in and gets a piece of it. That's a little national team battle there. Yep. Everybody thought, oh, the, the national team girls are so close. They're not they're not gonna fight against each other. We saw that last week. Every every week so far we've seen they're not afraid to tackle each other hard, if not harder. I think, John, it's a good rule of thumb. You always want to play well against your friends and That's right. And you measure yourself against the, the yeah. best players and and as I say to my nine year old daughter, there's no friends on the soccer field. There you go. Each another long throw and headed out by Chastain. Eiling sends it back the other way, but Bean off her line fields it easily. And that's nice by Bean. That as long as, as, as her defense presses forward, she just needs to be off her line quickly, and she did a great job there. We mentioned the Cyber Rays defense, and it's strong showing thus far. There is uh, nothing but good things to say about the Philadelphia defense. They've played two games and have not surrendered any goal. Right. So far, the defenses have played real well in the league. Made it hard to score goals. Long ball for Fair. Can't get it. Kind of a high hop over her left leg, and it's a throw in. The, the important thing, though, is the level has been good. A lot of times, there's shutouts, but that doesn't mean that it isn't a great soccer game. And that is a good ball. What a nice ball into space. Just missed it. The turf got the best of her. So Fair gets set up. We'll have another throw in here. Beechin fires it, Chastain with a read on it and takes it away. So the side brace with a counterattack, it's broken up by Olaf's daughter. Martin with a run for the ball between two defenders and Bean picks it out of there, give a throw in. I think we got to see Carrie Dunn at her finest right there, just pushing, getting her body in the way and playing good defense and a smart decision there. Yep. It's a heads-up play. Screen off the attacker. Let it go over for a goal kick. Chastain moving up to midfield, but is brought very effectively into the defensive scheme of things a couple of times. And that's no surprise. And now coming back, shaking off that uh, injury, Jenny Benson, number six, returns to the defensive alignment for Philadelphia. Chastain over to Wagner. Wagner getting her first start out of the University of Washington, a four-time All-Pac-10 player and uh, career scoring leader with last season led them to their first conference title just last season. And we got to see Julie Murray win a head ball there. She's going to lead the pressure. She really starts at the back. Has to, they have to press forward, but she's going she's gonna to lead it from the front line. She's going to have a tough battle today with Doris Fitchin. Look at Michelle Demko there, number nine. Couldn't quite run down that pass in midfield, but now Billy has it back. Dorn there, clears it away. Fair in there. Ball screen drop, takes control. Clear to midfield. That's why it's hit by Demko. 
No, it's not. It's a throw-in for Philadelphia. Yeah, I think Venus James had that one. I'd like to see Venus get the ball at her feet and take players on. When she does that, she's real effective. Chastain to Walsh. Murray can't get there. It's Fitchin clearing the other way. Headed back. Look out here. Ryan. There's kicks not, it over the sideline. Hey, there's not too many people who are going to run by Thori Bryan. She's lightning in the back. Yeah, I, someone could outrun her in the leg. I want to see it. That's right. That'll be quite a foot race. We'll have to, I don't think we're going to see anybody. Here comes a long throw. This will be dangerous once again. They're going to try to find the, the front runner there for a flick on. Teachin, the near post, headed out. CC making a run for it. Eileen keeps it alive. Back to Teachin. Her effort is blocked by James. It's the corner kick. It's corner number one for Philly. But that's good. Uh, Venus James, the midfielder's out there blocking the ball. She's defending. That's what you need out of all your players. You can't have some players just attacking and other players just defending. You have to be able to do it all on both ends of the field. Good look at there at Bean organizing the defense. Out in front. Chastain clears Eileen on the volley. Knocked down. Teaching after it, changes direction. That's blocked by CC, but out it comes to Olaf's daughter, lifts it high. Bean goes up and watches it sail over the crossbar. Yeah, this has been their best spell so far for the yeah. charge. They've been putting them under pressure a little bit. Get another look here. It's really kind of an unlucky bounce. I mean, you go block the pawn, it pops right to the, the open midfielder wide. Bean drives it to midfield on the goal kick. Demko after it over there. Eiling sends it forward. Danez has it. There's the midfield. Murray can't get there, and it's hit along the sideline. Kept in play by Philadelphia. It's a good thing Murray made it hard on him. Murray put him under pressure, and that's what you have to do. You can't leave the ball and say, oh, it's not right to my feet. You put him under pressure, and the next player on your team gets the ball. Free kick for the Rays. 10 yards in front of the center circle. Over it goes to James. We're oh. on the campus of Villanova University. Cyber Rays and the charge scoreless after 20 minutes. Again, Venus, Venus James, she is dangerous when she takes players on, and she's dangerous. She takes them on inside. She almost found Julie Murray there on a through ball. James looking deep, then back toward the center line, and now lobs it into Murray. Murray is a yeah, that's a tackle away pretty viciously tackle. by McDowell. The foul call. Yeah, and it's a tackle from behind. We really don't need those in the game. She wasn't going anywhere. See, she's not going anywhere. But that's a that's yeah. a good. And she's sending a little message here. A little elbow in there too. Yeah. If it happens. I, th I think Julie next time when she sees her come is going to jump a little bit and ride that tackle. She's got a little bit of a sore ankle, you know. So you don't want to want to be careful with that one, especially when you get it wide. CC to take this free kick now, way over near the sideline. Drives it right down the middle. Fair tried to clear and couldn't do it, but it's through on the hop to Weber. Yeah, she's just dialing in that radar on her foot there. Weber out to midfield now. Yeah, Weber's cleaned up her touch a little bit in the back ever since she had a little nerve-wracking start, but now she's starting to strike the ball well. Olive's daughter yeah. double team, taken away by Dorn. Good tackle. Good Walsh. In the midfield. Push there, that'll be no call, just a throw in. Yeah, Amy Walsh is a workhorse in the midfield. She's all over. Castain's headed down toward Murray. It comes off to James. Oh, nice play through two defenders, but flag is up. Offside call. Tachin will take this free kick. And that almost bent over the sideline, kept alive by Olive's daughter. Set the other way by Nanez. Martin with it for Philadelphia, looking for Fair. Take it away by Chastain. Wagner, center circle. Away from McDowell. That's a good tackle. Pitch in there to win it back for Philadelphia, and she'll overlap now. Demko has that ball blocked by Cook. It'll be a throw in. It's a good play by Demko. Gets it wide, doesn't panic with the ball, and knocks it off a of cyber ray. This is where they have to pressure. This is the time. They have to really put them under pressure. Wagner up there. Boy, that's quite a shoving match. Yeah. And the foul call on Philadelphia. Yeah, and that's the kind of pressure, Hal. If they can do this, 
sustain this kind of pressure on them. They're going to turn the ball over probably 10, 20 yards from their own goal, and it's going to pay dividends for them. Yeah, they're mitts. Put her mitts on Wagner a little bit too much. Got called for pushing off. I couldn't resist that. Sorry, John. That's a good one. My apologies. One for you. Okay. A wasted free kick there. You want to get it on somebody's head. Don't want to get it into Weber's hands. Weber's ball headed by Nanez. Dorn will try to go through to Bean. Yeah, good decision again. Beam has been so solid back Boy, there. She really the has. All of Stoddard heads it back toward Fair. But that raised defense right there to clear again. Murray after it. Said Teach and got a piece of the ball. I Ling after it. And the Rays get it back. Murray. Good effort. Keep the pressure going. They got to keep are. the pressure going. When they do that, they're dangerous. <laughs> Get the feeling, John, they keep knocking on that door like they are. They'll push it in eventually. If you join us late, the Cyberays today playing without Katya, their brilliant Brazilian forward who turned the ankle last week. The closing minutes against the Boston Breakers. She's not on the trip, hopes to play next week. That's a smart play by Lisa Nanez. Just, hey, no one's going to remember the ones that you, you kick yep. out of bounds. They'll remember the ones you, you fumble to the goalkeeper. Long coin headed by Olive Stoddard. Fair gets the control of it. She goes after with Walsh. Dorn trying to clear. Ryan clearing. Finally headed back toward midfield. The collision there between Murray and Olive Stoddard. Olive Stoddard may have got hit in the wrist. Yeah. She's hurting a little bit. Meantime, yeah. the counterattack is on. Hook up the left side, but can't quite connect with Murray, and that'll give a goal kick. Olive Stoddard in that collision. Yeah, her wrist. Hey, Julie Murray took one hard tackle. She's been dishing out hard ones yeah. ever since. She said, okay, if that's the way we're going to play, I can play hard, too, and physical. Well, Stoddard apparently will shake that off. And that, that's the way usually it is, Hal. It's not the person yeah. who, who kicked you that gets kicked back. It's somebody else on your team that gets kicked because you kicked somebody. Funny how that happens. Yeah, memories are good out on the pitch, aren't they? Yeah, you don't forget too much, especially especially in a league where you play each other three or four times. So you see how brilliant move to keep it alive, Chastain, and then it's knocked away by teaching. That could be a dangerous tandem in there once they, they get on the same page. Brian had trouble trying to gain control of the header. Now it's Walsh sending it the other way. And offside will be called on Murray. Julie with a look at disgust. Yeah, that was, that's, that's a late call, too. I think Julie thought she timed it just right. There's that fine line in offsides where you're, you're just trying to creep right next to the defender and hope you can you can pick your way through. Benchy with a free kick. Set down toward Ai Ling. Ryan right with her and cleared out to midfield. Benchy will run it down again. Murray to chase. Right along the sideline, it'll cross over and give a throw into the Rays. You know, Fitchin does strike a wonderful ball. I mean, she hit that one 50, 60 yards just on a string. Fair trying to gain control, but Manions gets a piece of it. Down below us, Megan Horvath is loosening up. Don't know that any substitution is uh, really pending here, but she's up and stretching out and doing some jogging. Right, you get that early warm-up in. Another long throw. Bear goes up, can't get up high enough, comes out to midfield. Those are very dangerous. James wins control. Benson gets a piece, James gets it back to Walsh. Eiling fighting for it, and she'll win it over to Kitchen, throw in for the Rays. But again, they're putting them under pressure, Hal. Yep. That, that's it. I mean, they, they may not get the first one, but they seem to be winning the second ball all the time, and that, that's going to work for them. CC against McDowell. Forward to Wagner. Back to CC. To Wagner again. Here she comes left side, and getting a foot in there was Heather Mitz playing it back to Weber. Boy, the Ray's certainly forcing defensive turnovers here on these uh, clearing balls, getting throw-ins, getting the chances. Now they've lost it. Ai Ling sends it the other way. 
But that will fly over the far eastern sideline and give another throw in. Yeah, you have to be a little careful with the offsides. When a, when a player has has all the time in the world to strike a ball through, it's probably not the best time to try to pull an offsides because that midfield runner can run through and beat the offsides trap. Mitz to make this throw in. Comes to Ai Ling. She's a better of all three World Cups for the Chinese national team. 99 World Cup All-Star. It's been relatively quiet so far today, John. They've done a good job of not letting her create too much. So far in the league, I think it's been that way, that, that the teams are, are all so solid that, that it's hard for someone to really shine so far. There's Murray. Looks like she's being pulled yeah. by Ai The referee let them play on for a while, then calls the foul. It'll be a free kick about midway between the front end of the center circle and the penalty area. Yeah, Julie Murray, she's a hard worker in there. Not yeah, afraid one more to give her... Watch Ling's hands here. <laughs> Not afraid to give her body up. This is pretty, pretty deep from here. I don't know if CC is going to take a, a free kick, a shot directly on goal. And yes. Yep. Weber right with it. Marking something at uh, the wall, I think. They had two-player wall on either side of one attacker. That's a long drop kick. Nice clearance by Brandy there. Good timing on the head ball. The two tens go after it. CC and Eiling. Let's see who's going to get this. Walsh goes up. High into the air off the foot of Wagner. Yeah, that's a push there. Yep. We've seen quite a few fouls here. Right. I, I think Julie Murray's doing a good job of getting her body there, and the defenders are having to push her out of the way. Strong tackle there by Benson. Kachin has it starting forward. Chastain closes it down. And this will be lost over the sideline again. This field here, it's the Asher, so it's 66 yards wide by 110, but because it's turf, John, it actually plays in a lot of ways more narrow than 66. Yes, it does. I mean, the, the ball, usually the ball, you, you try to spray wide, those balls will stay in on grass. On Astro turf, they are going out of bounds. Now we have two balls on the field. Now that's they've, interesting. They've changed the rules. Don't see that off too often. <laughs> Talk about a defender's nightmare. Oh, forward's dream. <laughs> Benson has it knocked away by Walsh. Boy, Walsh has played well in these last couple of games. Yeah, she, she's been a rock in the midfield. Just all over the field. Benson looking for the throw. Fair marks tightly, comes down into the area. And boy, turn a shot, score! What a goal! You know what, Hal, that's one of those AstroTurf goals. It's a goal where you get a perfect bounce, and I was going to say that earlier. On the AstroTurf, you get these great bounces that you can just volley. And I mean, I think we, we've seen just a beautiful finish here. Ball comes in. Controls it, and then what a goal. Oh, you see the swerve on that? Yeah. Martin gaining control. Wow. Yeah, and, and there's really nothing Lakeisha could have done about that one. That's just one of those perfect shots, and now the side rays are in a little hole, and they got to dig themselves out. Comes in the 31st minute. So it's a one to nothing lead for the charge. First goal for Martin. Teach and I would think will have the assist. All headed over the sideline here by Walsh. So the Rays will have to come from behind. Ball out to Murray to midfield. Looking for James. Murray gives it up to Kerry Dorn for the throw in. Nanya is sending it forward. James backpedaling, goes up with Fitchin. James gains control of it, but Keechin's got the angle. But look at that high hop, and it'll be a throw in. Again, I think they just have to continue the pressure. They've had the better of the game so far. They just need to, to finish their opportunities. Chastain to make the throw. Yeah, we're gonna get a, a long throw. Let's head over the end line for a corner kick. So that pays dividends. Yeah, it puts them under pressure. Puts them under pressure. Now we get a, a corner kick, and I know we're going to see a goal sooner or later here. 
on these corner kicks. They've been so dangerous. They just have to find find the player. Right down the middle, head ball, score! So the Rays answer right away. Boy, that didn't take long. Murray ties it up. We're in the 34th minute. The Martin goal came in the 32nd. That's right, and here comes the free kick, the corner kick, swerved in perfectly. Julie Murray was on the goalkeeper. She pushed off her a little bit, and then she finished it perfectly. And when you have a player like CC taking the corners, it's easy for you. That's easy money for Julie Murray. It's good she got paid off for all the hard work she's been doing up front. Perfect angle on it. Watch a slight downward trajectory. Murray just hit it perfectly. And after the kickoff, the Rays have it right back. Murray looking at James. James tries it down the right side. Weber's right there. Nice thing, it gets the Cyber Rays right back in this game. We showed a little bit of their character. I mean, they get scored on, and right away they're back into the game. Olaf Stoddard down the left side, and now it's won by Martin. Here comes Martin, left side. Bean is there and blocks it. A great oh. play by Bean. Great save. That's the way to come off your line like that. So Bean playing very aggressively. 1-1 one, one tie here after a little over 35 minutes. Good decision. She came off her line quickly and, and cut down the angle. Really giving Martin no chance there. Well, a lot of a lot of the steam being spit in the air out of midfield. Finally, McDowell gains control. All deflected. And, and how you'll find that on turf a lot too, because you're getting a very yep. a lot of bounces off the turf. So you're going to play the ball a lot in the air. Long ball right side. Teaching is there with the angle on it. Types it back for Benson, but here comes James. Benson has it back away from Murray. Out to midfield and knocked away by Nanez. Yeah, nice little bit of footwork there. I guess the ankle's better, right? Yeah, I think so. Might have used the magic sponge on that ankle <laughs> to get everything going. The healing process going. Now, this is a dangerous, dangerous place for a free kick. I don't think she's going to take it directly on goal. She'll try to bend it into an oncoming front runner. Maybe to Fitchin's head. She's in there. Benson made her first national team appearance against China back on January the 11th. She'll take the free kick down the middle. Boy, a high ball and it headed just right of the right post. Yeah, I bet you Doris Fitchin wish she could have that one again. That's one you got to put in the back of the net. She was in good position, unfortunately, just slid off her head a little bit. This is a great ball in. She skies in there and just misses it. Yeah, and as they say, Bob Ganser, the men's national team coach, used to always say, head the ball back to where it came from. You always head it back to where it came from, the other side of the goal. Rays with the ball in midfield now. CC keeping it alive along the sideline. High Ling clearing, but that'll be a throw in. Again, the Cyber Rays, their compactness has, has done them well. There's a look at Fitchin, the captain, and scored the first goal in Philadelphia history. And Julie Murray has scored the first goal against them. They've ever surrendered here to tie this game at 1-1. Brian up high. Ooh, there's a spill by Chastain, but she goes up and says that's okay to Demko. So free kick for the Rays here. CC will take it. She'll take the majority of free kicks for this team. 
again. Charge not doing well to clear it, but no harm done as it rolled back to the keeper. Maybe it is the AstroTurf, John, and it does change the game. It's funny, Hobson, we said, I'm sure they've had the chance to work out here. You just don't want to practice too much on it. Their defense has looked a little shaky at times in clearing the ball for a yeah. club that has never surrendered a goal until today. Right, and I, I do think it's it's partly because the Cyber Rays have really put them under pressure. Every loose ball, the defenders hate having to chase the ball with your with your back to the player rushing behind you. You hate that. You have to just clear it wide, and I, I think they've done a good job at that. The referee has just overruled the lines, the uh, assistant referee, and given that throw into the Rays. Flag was pointed the other way. Doran protested, and Todd Perry said, we'll go the other way. Boy, that was quite a tackle there. Lori yes. Fair goes into the middle. Lori Stables, Brian, and, and Lisa Nanya has just crushed her. James looks ahead to Murray. Teachens after. Look at that high hop. Randy goes up. Can't get up high enough. Now, Shaq would have got to that ball. Had he been there. Ball down the right yeah. side, but flag is up, and this time Michelle Demko caught offside. Yeah, clearly offsides. Good job by Ann Cook to pull up. Well, have a look back at the Cyber Rays home opener at halftime, then the Keisha Bean interview, and then highlights and stats, so don't go anywhere. Coming up not too long from now as we're in the 40th minute of this first half at a 1-1 tie. That's nice football right there. CC. Playing it left side. Wagner's there. Wagner against Mitz. Down to the end line they go. And Mitz shields are off the ball. This will be a goal kick. Yeah, they look good. They, yeah, that was a nice build up there. They kept the, kept the ball into the midfield, kept a good grip on the ball, and ended with a, a little bit of a scoring chance. They just, just a little bit at the end, they couldn't, couldn't get it into a good position to have a shot on goal. Ball at the midfield. Wagner sends it back the other way. Mitz goes after it. Be a throw in. Eiling can't control. Here's CC. Looks in near Kitchen. And Bitchin will clear. Now Walsh gets a piece of it down to Murray. Murray has the raised goal. Kitchen back there, pursued by CC, will change direction and clear to midfield. Bears got it, knocked away by Bryan. It's two against two there. McDowell traps it. Them going to the center circle, and James wins it. You see, couldn't get the leg up in time. This will be a throw in for Philadelphia. Again, next week, the Cyber Rays home to face Carolina Courage. That'll be at 2 o'clock. Kickoff on Mother's Day at Spartan Stadium. Good tickets available, so we'll look for you in San Jose next Sunday afternoon. Yeah, and again, every time San Jose pressures, they make it dangerous. The Cyber Rays just put the pressure on them. They, they just have to get rid of the ball. Mitz has to clear that one over the sideline. Chastain will make the throw. Got Murray going down near the near post, along with Wagner. One player I'm hoping we get to see today, John. Here's the throw in. Headed by Fitchin. Barry can't get it. So we'll get a look at Mandy Clemens later on. The Great, great start, Santa Clara. And that was a great work by Brandy to chase back, and now it's gonna, it looks dangerous. That looked like a hold, Benson against James, and a shot just oh. travels wide at the left post and curves back, stays on yes. the field to play, and Wagner keeps it going. Wagner looking for Walsh. I Ling will be able to clear. Well, she isn't able to clear. Wagner's got it back. Set down the middle, and I think that was deflected. Nope, they're saying goal kick. I, the, Two or three players for the Cyber Rays pointed, and yeah. it looked as though the ball changed direction, but the referee said no. Yeah, I think they thought that ball actually went out, and they were looking for a corner kick there. Oh, maybe he rolled the keeper, kept it on the field. I was thinking yes. it across the line. Remember, if you're new to soccer, the entire ball, the whole of the ball, must cross a line to be considered out. Maybe that was his ruling. Or she did a good job keeping her body in between yeah, so that so the right. referees had a hard time seeing that. Uh, would a keeper do that? I don't know. They might. <laughs> Ball goes through toward Martin. 
Oh, well, there's a hard collision on the AstroTurf. Martin goes down. Yeah, that was a tough one. I, I don't think Martin realized how fast Thor Ryan Staples is down for the race. Get it. Yeah, she got in there quickly and and. Uh, Ryan is up to a sitting position now and. Wow, that was a Martin tough is one. not. Well, Brian not looking terribly comfortable either. Yeah, I don't think she thought that she was going to be able to get in there so quickly and, and swung like she was going to win it. And I think she really took a good kick into Thory. Thory's up and okay. It appears. Trying to walk that off. Yeah, she she was the one who got kicked. And, and I don't think she got the worst of it, that's for sure. Aaron Martin got the worst of that one. Ah, it's good to see they're both okay. Yep. And that wasn't one of those phony tackles that you see every once in a while. This is a real one right here. This is a, a good collision there. That's tough. Looks like Brian landed on her right knee. And after making the play, Martin fell off and kind of landed on her hip, it appears. Yeah, I think Thory will probably feel that one tomorrow. It's one of those ones you make it through the game the next day. You went, so what's it like, bumps and bruises, you're going to feel the next day when it's on AstroTurf? How much longer is it? You know what? You're going to feel them. You're going to feel them tomorrow. All your joints, you'll just feel it in your ankles, your knees, your back, and, and then you'll have a little time to rest. Usually the coaches are pretty good about that, giving you a little extra time to rest and get your body back. John, I had been watching the replays. They gave Martin a yellow card there, first one of the match. So she will have to be careful. Boy, the ball's hot coming across the turf. Go in here for the raise. Getting close to the intermission. CC looking for Walsh. Walsh trying to keep it alive. I think we're going to have a substitution for the charge here. Two minutes of injury time being shown here. Yeah, Martin's coming back. Martin's coming back. She looks like she's okay. Bean will clear to midfield, so we get an extra two minutes here of injury time. I'll tell you, Beams look much more. Oh, oh, that was a close offside call there. Beams look much more effective coming off her line than Weber has as far as clearing the ball. She's been real solid back there. Pitching over on the right side to Mitz. Chased by Cook, will be a throw in. Long throw left side for Murray. Bitchin has the angle on her and she is there. Murray gets a foot on her to keep it alive. Back to midfield, it goes Chastain, can't get it. Yeah, a good battle of two internationals there. In the fair. Fair marked by CC. They've kept a tight rein on fair today, that's for sure. Murray, the flag is up. Two defenders are there. Finally, the whistle blows, and offside is called. And there's Brandy saying, no, no. Can't be called offside, but they did. Yeah, and Brandy has to be careful there. She is the captain. She can talk to the referee, but she's got to be a little careful. She has to play politics there, so they give him one later. Dorn has the angle on Olive's daughter. Down into the corner they go. And I think that's the last hit that was by Olaf Stutter. It's a goal kick. We should be just about out of injury time here if our clock is accurate. Dorn did a great job there, keeping her body in between her and the forward. Bean. Sends it to the head of fair. Here comes Martin, and there's the end of the half. Wow. Maybe at a good time for the race. <laughs> Fair did uh, not get the chance. That never happened when I was playing. They, they'd let it run a couple extra minutes. Yeah, that was... Or no, no, it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't the end of the half. Or was it? Well, I thought he pointed to the center circle. I don't uh, think the players know. It is the end yeah. of the half, yeah. Little confusion there. It was the end of the half. So, no offside is called there. We're at halftime. We played 45 minutes. Here at Villanova, scoreless between the Rays and the Charge. We'll be right back. Do you, uh, Yahoo? 
too. Oh, man, the Giants are hammering me. I mean, it's like home run derby from hell over here. You don't know what pain is. One time, Tony Siragusa sat on my face. Dude, that's not pain. That's a date. Back off, fat boy. Oh, no, don't hurt me, please. KMDR 680. We've got balls. Oh, jeez, when does it all end? 162 games, baby. Yeah, dog, you're the man. Any way you stack it, AT&T Digital Cable with the Gold Package means more. More channels, more control, more premium choices. Like HBO with HBO The Works. Or choose multi-channel Showtime. Cinemax with more Max, the movie channel. And multiple channels of stars and Encore are included. Call for a free upgrade now when you order the Digital Gold Package. AT&T Digital Cable. It's smarter. Today's game is being brought to you by Hyundai. Hyundai is proud to be a charter sponsor of the WUSA. Hyundai is backed by the Freedom of America's best warranty, the Hyundai Advantage. Martin Stadium, let's take a look back. She's got a shot. She takes it. Yes, that's over. Katya with the goal, the first in Cyberlane's history. And they're out in front, one to nothing. And a penalty call. He's giving her a penalty. Bumping in, they yes. call a penalty. The here comes back. And a penalty call. Oh, Lily, real better with this, puts it in on a penalty kick. The tying goal. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. The stumble. The goalkeeper falls down. Coffee's down. Remember this shot just right up. <laughs> oh, the crowd's going crazy right now. Hit the hard shot. Hit the crossbar. Oh. Halftime here at Villanova Stadium. And coming up next during our halftime entertainment for you, a visit with the starting keeper of the Cyber Rays, Keisha Bean. So, Jamie Bohan owns a Hyundai Sonata. We looked at consumer ratings and all of the features that came with the vehicle. This is Jamie's second Hyundai. It's very luxurious, it's very dependable. It comes with the freedom of America's best warranty and more standard features than Camry or Accord. It's a really fun car to drive because the engine is very powerful. The Hyundai Sonata, at just 15494 it's a lot more car. Sunday is a charter sponsor of the WUSA. Fruit to go to the next level! Ah! 
Salesgirl's attention in this shishi boutique, so we gave her the latest super cut. Let's see if it works. Well, there you go. A super cut is a super way to get attention. Super cuts are as hip as you want to be. It's tough making friends at a new school, so we gave Sally here a fresh new look. And had Guatemalan pop sensation Paolo help carry her books. Be super popular with a super cut. Super cuts as hip as you want to be. We'd love to see you smile. At McDonald's, we know value is about more than just great prices. It's also about great food and having a great time. Hey, anything for a smile. Our new mini meal deals ought to put a smile on your face. Just $1.99 for a McDouble small fries and a small drink or a McChicken small fries and a small drink. Mini meal deals for just $1.99. Part of our everyday McValues menu. We'd love to see you smile. New mini meal deals, just $1.99 every day. This copyrighted telecast may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the expressed written consent of women's professional soccer. Welcome back to Villanova Stadium. We are at halftime, the Barrier Cyber Race and the Philadelphia Charge. And joining us now, goalkeeper Keisha Bean of the Cyber Race. And Keisha, tell me what the uh, WUSA experience has been like for you thus far. Um, I know a lot of players have used it in pack already, but it's been like a complete dream for me. Um, wake up every day doing something that I love. Every game's exciting, every practice is exciting, so I'm just having a great time and enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. How about from a goalkeeper's perspective, playing in this league versus uh, college where you had a sensational career at Notre Dame? Um, Confidence-wise, it doesn't do much for me because the players are just awesome. I mean, we have world-class forwards and just everyone on the field is just awesome, so I think it's just a difficult position, especially being a goalkeeper at a WSA, because you have the best in the world coming at you. So it's a little nerve-wracking at times, but it's making me better, and I'm having a great time doing it. Of course, as far as the defense is concerned, it's been uh, a very strong effort for your team. You've surrendered two goals in two games, right. both on penalty kicks. <laughs> uh, that's kind of tough, but the defense has played well. Um, defense has played extremely well. I haven't had a time where I've been actually nervous or doing any situation, because I think we've handled everything very well and very secure in the back. Um, Flurry. Brian back there is just awesome with her world-class speed. I mean, anyone's got to be glad to have her on her team, and I'm definitely glad that we have her on our team. At Notre Dame, you uh, majored in environmental geoscience. Sounds uh, complicated, maybe a little daunting. I guess you uh, kind of followed the scientific realm from your mother's footsteps. Right. My mom is a um, metallurgical engineer, and I went into kind of the mechanical engineering side. thought that wasn't for me, so went to the environmental side, and I love it there. All right, Keisha, thanks very much. That's Keisha Bean. Goalkeeper of the Bay Area Cyber Rays. We are at halftime at Villanova, and we'll have more of our halftime activities, so stay with us. made hot, fresh, right to order. So I'm not just making a burger. I'm making your burger. Right now, we're making mini meal deals for just $1.99. A McDouble, small fries, and a small drink, or a McChicken, small fries, and a small drink. Just part of our everyday McValues menu. We love to see you New mini meal deals, just $1.99, every day. How fashionable is a Supercuts haircut? Well, little Timmy here liked his supercut so much, the whole family decided to get one, too. Yes, indeed, a supercut for everyone. Supercuts, as hip as you want to be. Supercuts has convenient locations everywhere, like here in the Mojave Desert. So visit our Mojave Supercuts. Supercuts, as hip as you want to be. Uh. 
Well, we're at halftime here at Villanova Stadium with the Bay Area Cyber Rays all even up with the Philadelphia Charge at 1-1 one one after the first 45 minutes. John C. B. a case once again of the uh, Cyber Rays maybe having the better of it, but they fell behind and they've gotten even. Yeah, I think they, they really showed their team character. They came back and were able to score a goal, and that, that's tough sometimes, but that's a great thing to see. Yeah. Aaron Martin put the, the charge ahead in this one, and the Rays were able to equalize on a goal by Murray. So uh, we'll have a look at the first half highlights here. Yeah, and CC with a great free kick there. Very dangerous. And the throw in here comes in. Aaron Martin just turns and hits a cracker of a goal. Oh. And then Julie Murray with a terrific finish. A lot of times on these, how the goalkeeper has the player. A player doesn't mark her. You stand on the goalkeeper, and when the ball's put in there perfectly like CC did, Julie Murray just snuck out a little bit and finished it perfectly. There's C. Martin getting the goal for Philadelphia in the 31st minute. Murray coming right back off the corner kick from CC in the 33rd minute. So we're even after 45 here. One goal apiece. Stay with us. We'll have the second half kick for you coming up very shortly. So don't go away. Michael Edo owns a Hyundai Elantra. I drive a thousand miles a week and the gas mileage is outstanding. Kiplinger's personal finance says the Elantra is the best new car in its class. It comes with the freedom of America's best warranty and a long list of features including front and side airbags. It's the only car in its class that has them standard. It drove like a much more expensive car. The Hyundai Elantra at just $12,494, it's a solid value. Hyundai is a charter sponsor of the WUSA. Save money on new, used, and rebuilt truck parts on your Chevy, GMC, or Ford truck at Santa Clara Truck Wreckers. Save a truckload on transmissions, doors, seats, front axles, whatever you need. Santa Clara Truck Wreckers has it, and has it for less. If you need front and rear differential work or ratio changes, Santa Clara Truck Wreckers are the experts. They'll even install engines and guarantee the labor. At Santa Clara Truck Wreckers, we have great prices and great service. Save on new, used, and rebuilt truck parts every day at Santa Clara Truck Wreckers. They fight for the middleweight crown to be part of history. Felix Trinidad to join the legends. William Joppe to stop him. Trinidad's undefeated but untested as a middleweight. Joppe's defending his crown for the 12th time. Only one gets a shot at the undisputed middleweight world championship and a place in boxing history. Trinidad versus Joppe, Saturday, May 12th, live on pay-per-view. Only one can make history. Today's game is being brought to you by Yahoo Sports. Find all the latest Cyber Ace news, scores, and player information at sports.yahoo.com. There's a look at some of the crowd here at Villanova Stadium on a very pleasant, sunny afternoon. Well, almost evening time here in Philly now, but they watch their charge take a 1-0 lead, and the Cyber Ace equalize just about two minutes later. So the Rays hoping to break through for that first victory this afternoon despite the absence of Katia. Now we'll take a look at our statistics through the first 45 minutes of play brought to you by Tony Nalbas. And John uh, said there are a lot of fouls in the yeah. first half. Man. And they're all, they're all by Philadelphia. They're not afraid to get the boot in there a little bit. Other than that, uh, fairly even. Shots on goal, 3-3. Three, three. Corner kicks one apiece. Yeah, and I think Bay, we have to be careful. Bay Area has to make sure they're not in offside positions too often. I think uh, Julie Murray was the culprit a few times. But then, hey, when you score a goal, you can be offside 20 times and your teammates don't mind. Yeah, that's a fine line to walk or maybe more properly stated to run, John. It's, uh, you've got to get up there to get those chances. That's right. And she, she's just right on the edge, you know, trying to break through, get a get every advantage that she can. She, her work rate has been phenomenal today, and she needs to continue that in the second half. The whole Cyber Rays team has done a great job of pressuring the other, their opponent, and they've been making them give the ball away on turnovers. Of course, on the other side of a, the coin, we haven't seen that many offside traps today, but uh, knowing how to play that for defenders is crucial. Absolutely. As a defender, you always have to know where you are on the field, know where the forward is, because uh, most forwards are, are pretty crafty about about playing the, playing the offsides, and what they will do is they'll just push the envelope a little bit and try to slide through, and the, the big thing is you can be offside 10 times, and on the 11th time, 
if you're able to sneak in and score a goal, you won. It appears we're going to have a substitution for the Charger to begin the second half. As you look at some of the festivities there. Here come the Cyber Rays back out on the field and a look at Lori Fair, the Los Altos native who's certainly made her presence known in this country's soccer program. 84 appearances on the U.S. national team at the age of 22 as the youngest player on the 99 World Cup team. As you look at the charge there, they're going to have a substitution number 12. Kelly Kamaltz, a midfielder, is out there. We'll have to check and see who she's replacing. Kamaltz, number 12, was an all SEC uh, player and later uh, honorable mention All-American at the University of North Carolina. She's all SEC at Vanderbilt before transferring to Carolina. So she is into that midfield alignment now. And for the Rays, it looks as though we have the same lineup out on the field. Yeah, they don't need to make any changes. They've done well. Good look at Lisa Nanez. There has had a solid game. They have not let Lori Fair really loose at all. She has had no, no real good opportunities. They've really kept her under pressure. So the charge wearing their home reds will kick off. There's a look at Murray in the side of Ray Silver. And we are underway with the second half. And ball lost over the sideline. Throw in. Kamaltz is in and uh, Benson leaves the game. Benson took one of those nasty falls in the first half and that may have stiffened up during halftime. Yeah, I, I think she just battled through the, the first half and never really felt quite right and they wanted to make a change. Here's the ball coming through to James. James with a chance on top. Takes it right and fires it. Spikes away. That's a good save. That is a good save. She stood her ground. Weber was in the right position. Venus James, maybe her first touch. If she could touch this to the inside, she has a better angle to shoot on goal. She kind of cut herself off on the angle there, but a good attempt. Keeper taking away that near post. And right there to make the play. Now CC will have her second corner kick. That's they right. score on the first one. How we'll see if I can call this one. Yeah. And then again, uh, there's some. They're not really marking Julie Murray. She's free again. She's going to try to bend it in there, and you'll see. Wagner at the near post. Murray coming out in front. Goes the far side. Clear now out to midfield, but Cook's going to keep it alive. Lives it right back down the middle. Headed away again by Fitchin. And that'll be a throw-in. Uh, referee's pointing for San Jose. Yeah, they did make the big, big change that they did was. What they did is they put Fitchin in the middle, and she's kind of playing zonally now, where she's just going to try to take all the corners that come in for Bay Area, from the Bay Area Cyber Race. Bay Area throw in for Chastain. We'll see the long throw once again. It's so dangerous. It puts them under pressure. They have, they have to either clear it for a throw in. And back in front now to the left side of the box. It's cleared by Mitt. Cook trying to keep it alive. Comes down the middle to Manez. Got a good foot race here. Wagner and Mitt down into the corner. That'll be a throw in for Philadelphia. And again, the Cyber Rays are pushing forward. CC, let's Cook have it. Down the middle for Walsh. A little bump there by Martin. Do we have a foul? We do. Yeah. Wait, they've called, they've called, uh, they Martin made the first pitch. Yeah, Walsh they, and Walsh went down. Yeah, they, they called that one right. There was a push from behind, causing her to go flying into the other player. Now they're, A, this half they're going with the win, so this is this is a good legitimate chance on, it's a good opportunity to sh get the ball on target, on the goal here. Four-player wall for Philadelphia. Chastain getting it placed down. CC will be ready to hit it, I'm sure. Or maybe the decoy, we'll yeah, see. You get to see a little deception here. You don't know who's going to hit it. Five-player wall now. It is Chastain with a right foot and a headlong drive and a save by Weber. Yeah, and you'll, you'll never believe who was in on it. Julie Murray. She is working tirelessly today. And look at Chastain's effort. Good save by Weber. Julie Murray right in there. Better right around the wall. That's a goal scorer right there. Yep. Always around the ball. Into the center circle it goes. It's practically the first time the ball has come into the attacking end of the field. This half of Philadelphia being 
Clears it out. On clearance. Murray's onside this time, but they clear. Just still be ahead of Dorn. Dorn sends it down the middle, and this time offside on Olaf Stutter. Quickly from the side, Rays, you've got Murray up front. Cook, CC, Wagner, James, Castain, and Walsh. The back line, Nanias, Dorn, Bryant. Hey. And of course, Keisha Bean in goal. Here's the throw in for Philadelphia. Over there to Demko. Bow will call that a midfield. Weber in goal for Philly. Fitchin, Benson, Mitz. Teaching defensively. Cobbles down the midfield with McDowell, Eiling, Olaf's daughter, and Fair. Get to see Fetchin strike a nice ball into the box here. Angled ball. Very dangerous. Right down the middle. Headed out to Murray. Murray center circle for CC. Seeing and Fitchin go after it. Slams off to someone and comes off to Murray on the left wing. Wagner coming down the left side. Fitchin clears the midfield. That yeah, was a good overlapping run there. One back by Martin. She has the goal for Philadelphia. Fair double team. Walsh after it. Fair gets rid of it. Philadelphia unbeaten in two games. A win and a tie. And the Rays with a tough loss at Washington. one nothing on the penalty in their opener. And then a penalty tied them last week against the Boston Bakers. So far, the, the Cyber Rays have looked physically stronger than all the teams they've played. And I mean, with, with them without the ball. Right, I think that's a good point, John. And Brandy said after the game last week, we just have to finish the quarter. And if they could just do that, it appears the defense is going to be strong. That's right. They just need to bottle and sell that finishing, finishing drink. Demko chips it down the middle. Bean comes off her line and feels it in the front of the area. The only danger spot I see here is that Cyber Rays have so much of the play right now that they have to be careful that the charge doesn't get behind them. You know, because there's a lot of space to play the ball into and with Lori Fair up top, she can slide behind players and she's fast enough to get on the end of one. So they just have to be really concentrated in the defense. And that's kind of a silly foul there in a dangerous position. There as a defender, you just want to stand the player up. You don't need to foul him in there, especially with CC taking the free kicks. Yeah, that was Camels who came on. There's the second half substitution, the committed of the foul. Yeah, she's probably a little excited. You have those, you want to get your first tackle in there. There's CC on the hop right at Weber. Weber did a good job with that. That's a dangerous ball in there, that skipping ball right in front of you. She's been tested early this half. Cook to make the throw in. Come on, Julie, get it close. Instead, she will leave it for Nanez. Quite a battle in midfield here. And that crosses the sideline. Be a throw in from the cyber race. Yeah, that was that was 30 seconds of some power soccer there. There was some hitting going on. Randy looking forward. Long throw down the left side, headed by Fitchin. Coming to Murray. Hai Ling gives a little shove. CC gains control. CC down the middle. Here's Wagner's shot. And it's a crossbar. Follow-up head ball. Goal! CC has put the raise in front. Hey, that was perseverance right there. That's simply all it was. They worked hard. They really deserve that. They deserve to have that goal. Right after the crossbar, let's take another look. Here's Murray. Yeah, Julie Murray once again. She's been around all the play today. Wagner with just a great shot. She didn't get to have the goal, but she sure helped set it up. And then CC with a good finish. So the Cyber Rays have the lead at 2-1. to one. CC's first WUSA goal. After Wagner hit the crossbar, comes in the 53rd minute. Yeah, I'm sure Teresa 
She's a little, little disappointed she didn't get the goal, but I'm sure she's not that disappointed as long as it's in the back of the net and they've taken their first lead here of the game. That eases the pain a bit. Let's see, let us count the crossbars and posts in the first three games for the Rays. Here's the ball coming through to Olaf's daughter. That ball high and wide. Yeah, I think we're going to have to keep our eyes on Doris Fitch, and she's already attacking from the back, and now, now that they're down by one, I think we're going to see her in the other end quite a bit. There was a post and a crossbar in the opener for the Rays. There was a crossbar last week. Another one here, but it didn't help for long. Yeah. Or as defenders say, the keeper's best friend. Yeah, you know, but they learned their lesson from that post. They yeah. were aware, and they, hey, they, they hit the crossbar, but this time there was somebody to finish it off. Actually, I think after Brandy hit that crossbar at the end last week, didn't Murray or someone had a shot right at the finish? And Got it up a little bit high. Here's Fair down the area. Blocked by Bean. Fair's there again, and Bean's there again. Oh, oh, hey, that's great goalkeeping by Bean. She stood tall, stood her ground, and was able to knock that one down. It's getting exciting now. Well, it's been uh, back and forth end and here the last two or three minutes. Take another look at the last sequence. Yeah, and this is get Lori Fair's finding a little space out there. A great save. This time, Fair's ball comes on through to Keisha Bean. Keisha. Both keepers have had their hands full here in the first couple of minutes yeah. of this half. Keisha is, has been striking the ball perfectly from the back. I mean, all, all her clearances have been right on the money. Well, that's a real asset if your keeper can become a distributor of the ball. No question about it. Becomes almost an offensive player. Deacon will let that cross the sideline, throw in Philadelphia. Yeah, well, he played 10 minutes of the second half. The Rays have taken the lead on CC's goal. In the 53rd minute, it's 2-1. Yeah, and I, I think the goal has really kind of energized the charge here. I mean, they've started to press forward. They, they hadn't really been taking the game to the Bay Area till, till the second goal. That seems to happen when you're playing. McDowell wins one at midfield. Eiling now. Eiling after it again, but Chastain is there. There's Ball, will hug the sideline, cross over it for a throw in. Ah, that's a nice touch. Now you get to see a little bit of Venus's pace there. Flying up the right side, she's really quick. But can't keep it on the field, over the end line. Hey, it was a great ball by Amy Walsh. So first time ball for the young players out there. Usually your first thought is the, the best thing to do out there. And she sprayed it wide perfectly into Venus's stripe. Going upcoming for the charge. We're at Villanova Stadium on the campus of Villanova University. About 11 and a half minutes in the second half. The Rays have taken a two to one lead. The first goal from Murray tied the game and CC scoring here in the 53rd minute to put him ahead. That's right. We're getting international goal scorers scoring goals for the Cyber Rays. Good point, John. Another throwing up coming for Philadelphia. Murray, captain of the Australian World Cup team. And a short conversation with Julie. We'll let you know she's Australian. Yeah, a little surprising here. I mean, they're taking out Aaron Martin. I don't know if she's injured or... She was in that collision with Brian at the end of the half. Yeah. That's... Andy Clemens, we mentioned her earlier, coming in number 22 for the charge. Has made four appearances with the U.S. national team. Three-time West Coast Conference Player of the Year and an All-American at Santa Clara. Herman Trophy winner and Missouri Athletic Club Award winner. Well, th well, that's not a bad person to put in as no. a substitute, is it? No, I was looking forward to getting a chance to see her play. There's ball coming all the way through to Weber. And they're really going to have to keep an eye on her today. Yep. Manny the Broncos' all-time leading scorer. 67 goals, 65 assists, 149 points. Led her team to four final fours. Yeah, and she's got to be excited to get to play against the Bay Area. Oh, absolutely. Philadelphia will visit Spartan Stadium twice this season. Eiling after the ball with Murray. Cleared by Tom Holtz. Nanez will 
Headed back to Bain. WUSA action. Yeah, I'm sure Nanez and Clemens know each other well. San Diego got a victory over the Washington Freedom. And today, New York went over Carolina 3-1. Yeah, it looks like we're getting some goals. Things are loosening up a little bit. Everybody's, the pressure's getting a little bit less and less as the games. They're feeling more comfortable in the play. Well, in most every sport, John, defense comes quick, more quickly. It's uh, easier to prevent than to uh, organize at the yeah. start of the season, especially all new teams. Or, or as forwards say it, it's easier to destroy <laughs> than to create there sometimes. This will be a free kick. Only about 10 yards beyond the penalty area. And again, they're going with the win. This is very dangerous. You'd like to see one of the players, even, even if you know CC is going to take the kick, you want another player stepping over it. You want some deception. It was dangerous when, when Hearn Brandy did it earlier yep. in the first half. Brandy took the ball. This time, have Brandy step over it or have somebody give a little deception. Here's CC's effort. And Weber can't hold it. Ryan followed up, but it's blocked over the end line for a corner kick. Wait a minute. Did they call, John, did they call offside? No corner. They came back and we'll get another look. And CC with a great kick. Weber can't handle it. And then Brian did touch yeah. it last. Goal kick. Okay. Brian was in there. Their follow-up has been good today. They've been really on top of things. That's, that shows that they're mentally prepared to play today. That's a, that's a tribute to their coach. Look at that battle in the center circle. Camels, Chastain, Walsh is in there, and CC comes up with the ball. CC pushing it for Wagner, just a little too much in front of her. That was Run a little, little battle of old and new Broncos there. Yes, it was. It's got to be, gotta be fun for these girls getting to play against Brandy day in, day out in the league here show their stuff. Well, with a challenge. nice move down the middle, but it's knocked away. Flags up offside on Clements. There's a look at Mandy. It didn't wait quite long enough. We'll get another substitution here for Philadelphia. Ai Ling, who has been well contained by the Rays today, coming out, and Lori Schwoy is coming in, number 21. Yeah, I think she's been a little... Uh, she struggled. There's been a lot of pressure. The way that the Cyber Rays play, it's hard for a, a creative midfielder to get any space out there. And she was a little ineffective today, and they're making the change. Number 21, Lori Shoy is in. Ball down the middle. Cleared by Fitchin. Out to Fair. Fair starts their counterattack now. It's slowed up by Chastain. Headed forward. And the Rays have it back. Warren comes up the right side. Richard screens Murray off of that one. We started to mention Lori Schwoy, who just came in. First team All-American at the University of North Carolina. Played on four national champions there. She had 15 game-winning goals for the Tar Heels. Wow. 43 goals, 36 assists. Pretty good numbers. Yeah, some of the credentials of these women players are incredible. The amount of international caps they have, the amount of goals they've scored in college, just incredible. Schwoy sends one up the right side. Ryan has the angle on that with Clemens and clears it over the sideline. Hey, and a smart play. Yep. Again, don't mess with it back there, especially with the lead. Mitz the throw in. And there'll be another throw in. Nope, we got a foul call first. Or did the referee just overrule there? It's just, there will be a foul. Will be a free kick. Little and, push. Yeah, and the Cyber Rays are in no rush now. Hey, they're winning this game. They get another opportunity to score a goal. They can really put this thing away, but, but they have the three points if they play smart. No rush in the back. Wagner heading one forward. Now pitching. There's that uh, to Demko. Murray after it. Marked away by Cam Holtz. CC gets a foot on it. Chastain lifts it forward, but Weber will get there ahead of everyone. Yeah, they just missed that one. That was some great footwork. They were really creative in there, and they just didn't get it to pull off. Those things are going to come, come around mid-season. 
Daniels heads over down on the right side. Doran sends it forward. Crowd here today, 11,092. So a good crowd for Philadelphia in there, first ever home game. There's a lot going on here today. Phillies are at home. And the Sixers opening their Eastern Conference semifinal series. So I'd say that's a good crowd. That's a great crowd. Filled up this stadium. Lakeisha Beam has had a awesome game so far. She's just got to continue it. I don't want to jinx her, but she has been in the right place at the right time all afternoon today. Castain running the game control of that one in the front of the center circle. McDowell after her, but Dorn will control. Randy's ball eludes Dorn. Throw in for Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia's played a pretty physical style out here. They, they, they're taking no prisoners. Ryan again taking no chances. Well, can't hit it off the field. She's still after it and then does a good job to come back and make it a throw in. She just wanted to have two chances at that there one. There you go. Use a little extra time that way, right, John? That's right. I don't think you draw it up that way. And again, the dangerous long throw. We've seen this all day today. Beechin to the near post. Bean is there in heavy traffic, can't clear. Scramble and finally clear to the top of the box. Beach is right there to fire. And cleared by Dorn. Oh, he took a shot. Kept alive. Oh, it's got her fires and scores. On the volley, what a play. Yeah, and you can't let that one go near post. A lot of scrambling there. Doran took a tough one right into the midsection here. Oh, no, right into the face. That was a tough one, but she kept playing. And here, oh. that's a tough one. I think it's surprise beam there. Took a took a tough hop on her. Great recovery and control. Left foot, chest, and right foot home. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to be a tough one. You can't let those ones go in the near post. Now she's just got to continue doing what she was doing before. So that comes in the 66th minute, and it's all tied at two. This has been one entertaining soccer well, game, that's has. for sure. I hate to see him score like that, but it's going to put some more pressure on the Cyber Rays to get another one. Wagner can't quite get up high enough to win that one. Control it, and it'll be a throw in for Philadelphia. 24 minutes to go. All tied at two. Olive's daughter, the Icelandic national team veteran. Played on their team for eight years. Yeah, Doris pitching with a, a tough foul in there against Julie Murray. They've had a great battle today. Stacey with a free kick. This one's about 33 yards from the end line. Down the right side, a head ball will go wide left. It's a good effort. That's where you want it. You want to put it a diagonal ball in and get one of your your upcoming defenders or one of your midfield forwards to get their head on that. I don't think we've seen the last of the goal scoring today. Now I got a feeling you're right. Weber ready for the goal kick. Ties it midfield. Teaching. Stops it, but loses it over the sideline. DC in traffic. Give and go with Walsh, and that'll cross the end line for a goal kick. Yeah. That was a good attempt at a three three player combination there. In, out, into the corner. Just missed it. I would say on regular grass, that's that's right to Venus. DC dropping back to midfield. Here's a look at Mark Corian and the Philadelphia bench. Nanya is clearing it over the sideline. It'll be a throw in for Philly. Eachin fires in and on the hop. Nanya's trying to clear. Fair gets it back. Fair with two defenders. Forward to Clemens. It's knocked out to midfield. Schwoy to Teachin. Down the middle it goes. Clemens. Out to McDowell. That's deflected and trapped down there by Keisha Bean. Yeah, Clemens with a nice play in there. I mean, she just laid it right off into the incoming player to try to get a ball on target. But that's nice, nice target play. 
to the concern on the face of Ian Sawyers, who saw his team's 2-1 lead. Take it away a couple of minutes ago. Dorn will control this one in midfield. Billy gets it back. Demko, center circle. Heads it forward. Daniels back toward the center line. Dorn did a good job getting in the right position there. Dorn. Who's going to get there? Clemens. Controls for Philly. Schwoy plays up the right side. And that almost got Kishi <laughs> going the wrong way out there to Cook, but yeah, that's she recovers those, to grab it. Those heart stoppers there. Hold your breath for a moment. Oh, boy. Mitz sends it high into the air. Murray's back there. Cyber Rays have to, to get back to what they were doing when they were winning 2-1, to one, and that is pressuring. They need to pressure up top. I know the legs are probably feeling a little weird because I think they've really brought this game to the charge. Ryan cleared it over the sideline. Demko will let Mitz make the throw in. And just over 20 minutes remaining here, a 2-2 tie. Yeah, we're going to see a long one into the box once again. Gamble, long throw. Who's going to get this one? It's Wagner gaining control. But out in the center circle, we got a foul call. It'll be a free kick for the Rays. Yeah, that goal really livened up the crowd here. It's become extremely noisy since they scored. They're really into it today. Well, all around the league, it's good to see enthusiastic crowds, and that's been the case most everywhere. Hey, this is the greatest time in our history of soccer in America right now. We have a men's league, a women's league, our national teams. The women's national teams have been world champions, gold medals. The men's team is doing well. It's just a great time for professional soccer in America. This is the best women's league in the world. There's Clemens down the right side. Two defenders to beat. Nice job by Cook. Mitz sends it ahead. Schwoy back down the right side for Clemens. Ryan will win the ball. Yeah. Back over the sideline instead. And that's a, that's a tough battle for Clemens there. <laughs> Going against Story Bryan. She is a rock back there. Going off that near the center line. Fitchin working hard there. Keeps it alive. To Schwoy. Mitz. And Brandy's leading the charge there. They're pressuring him. Venus makes a run but can't get there. This is back to Clemens. We'll give and go back for Mandy. Bryan is there and heads it to her keeper. Yeah, Clemens, I'm, I've been impressed so far yeah. with Clemens. She's, she's a good target player up there. She knocks the ball down nice. She's dangerous. Here comes Murray with Fitchin, and that'll go wide to the left. Be a corner kick for the Rays. Yeah, Fitchin. Uh, Julie Murray's complaining about, hey, she's grabbing my shirt. She had a good, Fitchin had a good lock on that jersey to slow her down. Might not have been a bad idea. I don't think she was going to catch her unless she no. grabbed that shirt. And you see Fitchin now. Now she's staying right in the middle on the corner kick. She's, she's holding her ground there in the middle. She's playing zonally instead of man-to-man. -man. Wagner at the near post. Right down the middle. Ball headed back in front. Walsh trying to keep it alive, but it's cleared to midfield. teachin has been very active in that defense today. Long ball right side, but had the traps at that time. They had to clear out. Yeah, they cleared out well. The charge were really out there. Here's a look at the upcoming schedule for the Cyber Rays. Again, next Sunday, take Mom out on Mother's Day to Spartan Stadium. Carolina Courage will be there, 2 o'clock. It's a three-game homestand. The Boston Breakers come back for a Wednesday night affair on the 16th, and then Atlanta in on the 27th of the month through the TV schedule as well. So a three-game homestand coming up for the Cyber Rays. And we're going to get a substitution here. Megan Horvath is going to come on, and Murray will come out. Murray with the first goal for the Rays today in the 34th minute. Yeah, and Horvath, she's a spark plug in there. Danville's finest. Let's see her get a goal. I think she's going to have a good battle in there with Doris Fitchin. I think she has her for pace, so hopefully they can spring her through the middle. First substitution of the day for the Rays. Megan came off the bench last week as well. 
and she had a great scoring opportunity last week, so hopefully she can get an opportunity, create an opportunity and finish it. Megan is another Santa Clara Bronco. West Coast Conference freshman of the year and sort of game winning goal in her first game. Out of Carondelet High School. Here's Brian tapping it back to Bean. He'll have to kick it out of there. Chastain can't get it. Choi goes up. McDowell gets a piece of it over to Choi. Out to midfield. It comes again. Horvath gets a touch on it. Yeah, right idea. Here comes Teachin, but that'll be cleared by Nanez. Be a throw in right in front of the center line. There's a look at Murray, who had a very busy day. Georgia first goal. Charge having a little trouble clearing this. Demko goes up to win the ball, but right down to Brandy. Playing it into the right corner. Here's James making a run. Uh, yeah. Couldn't get to it on that yeah, AstroTurf. Yeah, the AstroTurf got the best of her there. It's the right idea. Now they just got to hold them in. They got to pressure. Here comes Spare. They stand by four defenders, plays that for Clemens. Cook is with her. Clemens controlling it, though, and offside will be called as Demko comes forward. Hey, it all started in deep, deep in the charges in. San Jose, uh, Bay Area let them get a little too much free, free room back there. They need to pressure up. When they pressure, it's, it's been impossible for them to break out. And here we see it on the replay. It was offside, fortunately, for the Cyber Rays. And here's a... Another look at it. There's a look at the Philadelphia bench. They have just made another substitution. Number three, Deidre Enos is into the game, replacing Olaf's daughter. So two of the players who have scored have been substituted out here. Enos out of Boston University. Here comes Horvath making a run with the defense. They're having trouble again. Ray's trying to keep it alive. Horvath does right down the middle. Here's CC. She's got it, fires, and oh, just wide what a, right. What a good effort. Again, well, Horvath did yeah, well. Yeah, Horvath working hard there, chasing everything down, making it difficult on the defenders. CC with a good effort. Nice strike on the ball. CC with a trap and firing and just missing right. Yeah, she just couldn't get it to bend at the end. But you get, a, you get a, such a true bounce on this turf as we saw in the first goal from the charge. Anything bouncing is, is just primed to hit volleys. Ball out to midfield to Fair. Fair in traffic. Fitchin will gain control. Clemens up high. Here comes down the left side. A race for it. Bean is out to cover it up. Deidre Enos, who just came in, made a dangerous looking run there. Yeah, she has some pace. There's CC with a free kick early on. She's had quite a day, and her first goal off the Wagner ball off the crossbar. That tied the game at one. Here's Clemens coming down the right side. Brian goes with her and tackles it over the end line. Corner kick. Yeah, I think Brian was behind there by, say, eight yards, and she was able to close the, the gap quickly. Clemens will put it down in the right corner. Yeah, Clemens might might have been better off just striking that first time. Fortunately, she didn't. And he has certainly made her presence known here. Now she will let Lori Fair take the corner. So one Bay Area gal, Bay Area native. That's the other makes the play for Philadelphia. Fair's got two players right in front. Drives at far post. Had a right in front, cleared by Chastain. Yeah. Corner kick from the left side. That's a dangerous free kick. They've changed things up a little bit. Fair strikes a, a nice driven ball to the far post, and they're trying to get it back across in front of the goal. And that's that's you get confused when you're marking someone tight, and it goes over your head, and it has it doesn't go to your person. You think, oh, okay, I can relax a little bit, and the next thing you know, it's headed back, and, and your player's been able to get loose from you. So Fair will take it from the left side now. McDowell right in front with Demko and Teachin. 
Yeah, it's a good matchup with Fitchin and Wagner. Fitchin's out near the penalty spot. Goes far side, Schwag gets hit on it. Beat is there, can't clear. In for the goal and Philadelphia back in front. Schwag keeping that play alive and Philadelphia goes back on top at 3 2. So corner kicks. Yeah, and it's a dangerous one. It comes across again. I talked about it earlier. It comes across the front of the goal and headed back across perfectly. And a tough one for the goalkeeper. A well-struck ball. And again, this is where you might lose your mark. And there's, yeah, and Venus James just couldn't get it out of there. So Schwoy setting up Demko for the lead goal. Demko's first goal. Getting her first start today and puts it in in the 79th minute. It's 3-2 Philadelphia. Yeah, Santa. The Rays trying to come back. And Horvath, double team. Here comes Chastain trying to keep it alive and they'll clear. Yeah, now, hey, now they have to throw caution to the wind. They have to pressure, put everything in the mixer. And when I mean in the mixer, I mean get everything forward, put them under pressure, create a scoring opportunity. Bitchin. <laughs> Pretty exciting there for the keeper yeah, hey, You know what? You have to do that. You have to put balls in. You never know. When they're under pressure, they might make a mistake. And Bay Area really has to put them under pressure now. Headed down by Daniels. Richards into the back of the center circle. Demko scored the goal, wins it back. Third the other way. Horvath is there. Right up to CC. Up Sauber Bush. Can she get back to it? Get the line right down the middle. There's Wagner, but cutting in front is Mitt to clear over the end line. Mitt sets up a corner kick by knocking it over. Yeah, that's good work. Now they need to continue that. We have Megan Horvath. She's been working, working hard since she's been in there trying to create something. Now corner kick here. Again, they just have to get it over the first player there, Doris Fitch, and that's, that's the part you just right over the number five's head. CC down the middle, and it up by Schwoy. And lifted back to the midfield area. Bean is way out of the penalty box to trap this one and play upfield, but Cook can't get there. Bean will have to retreat in a hurry. All the Clements. Ball will lead Enos too much. It'll be a throw in for the Rays. There you see, we've got just over eight and a half minutes left. The Rays down by a goal. Yeah, eight minutes of hard work. They just have to, to work their way back in this game. It's been kind of a wild affair. Philly jumped in front, one nothing in the 31st minute. Aaron Martin with a goal. CC equalized, or I should say, uh, Murray equalized off CC's corner kick. And CC put the Rays in front. Olaf's daughter tied it in the 66th minute. And now Demko off the corner kick has put Philadelphia back in front at 3-2. Brooks looking for the long throw in. Headed by Wagner. Dorn heads it forward. Mitz is there and looks it over the sideline. I'd like to see a long throw out of Chastain here. I think Brandy she's, is, yeah, I think we're going to get a long throw. I think Brandy would rather be on the other end of it. I always laugh. That you think, okay, maybe she can throw it and then head it. Because she's got <laughs> the long throw. <laughs> that Dory Bryan will do the honors. So we can launch it. Right on her front. Brandy gets her head on it. Dorn can't get control of it. Quick counterattack. Clemens leads it out of there. The fair. Enos is on the right side. Defense getting back very well here. Look at Cook. Good, strong job. Double teaming and clearing it as Daniels. Charge still has it, though, but uh, that'll run down near the end line and kept on the field by Bean. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Fitness is definitely not a concern for Ian Sawyer here. That I mean, they've played well. They're getting back. Just finishing those chances. Flag is up offside and Clemens again. And they're still, yeah, they're still mentally there, 100%. They're pressing forward. The defense is pressing forward here. Mandy Clements is just letting things, things go by. 
wasting time. Clock is against them now. Just over six and a half minutes to play. Had it out to midfield. And cleared beyond the center circle. Bean way out of the box again to run it down in the midfield area. You better do well with that kick. Yes. Yeah, you don't you don't want to make a mistake there. Wagner looking for CC, but it's deflected by Schwoy. Walsh will run it down. Walsh with two defenders is oh, tripped and fouled, and this will be a great chance. Just beyond the arc. Again, plenty. Now, now if you're you're on the cyber race, hey, just calm down here. You have plenty of time. Yeah, this is this a great is a, chance. Just an excellent opportunity. Four-player wall, Chastain and CC, both back of the ball. Yeah, Last yeah. time Brandy took it. Let's see what happens here. It's a yeah. five to six player wall now. And you you like to you like to see this a little deception. CC hits it deflected by the wall corner kick. Someone took that right on the noggin, didn't they? Yeah. All right, here's CC from the right corner. Five and a half to play. The Rays need a goal to tie it. Yeah. Wagner at the near post. Four back in front. Cleared by Fair and another corner kick. Yeah, you got to get that ball over the first couple defenders there. It's, as, as a person who used to go up for a lot of corner kicks, it's frustrating when you don't get it over that first one. Yeah. I'd like to see the ball to Nanez at the far post because no one's really marking her. Well, she's all alone. Now makes a run in. Here comes Lisa. And headed away for another corner kick, this one from the left side. Yeah, and the pressure's mounting here. Less than five minutes to go. I'm reflecting back on injury time here in the second half. I don't remember much, John. No, I don't think there has been been too much. CC from the left side now. Drives it right in front. Headed up by the defense. Dorn is going to follow it up. Oh! Weber comes flying off her line and bats it away another corner. Boy, she showed some athletic ability there. That was a terrific save and a good collision there and a, a good finish. Finishing opportunity. The pressure's mounting here. This is the one. CC again. It's at low. Scramble in front. And Fitchin, nope, she can't clear it. Good effort there to keep it alive. Lost over the sideline. And Thory Bryant's going to throw it in. She's going to long throw it, maybe get into CC's feet. This is just as dangerous. Getting it into. Here's the throw, headed up in front. Finally cleared by the charge, but keeping it alive is Cook and knocks it off. She wants to get it in Minos quickly. There. This one's headed out by Mitz and finally cleared to midfield by Philadelphia. Three and a half to play. Time goes short for the Rays. Dorn, nice job there in traffic yeah, to win it. Yeah, that's a touch of class there from the defender. Headed forward by Wagner. Scrambling the field, and Dorn's got it back again and plays it back to Bean. All right, just over three minutes left. Rays need to get organized here and find the back of the net to tie it up. Cleared by Kamholtz and got a foul called. A free kick for the charge. Yeah, Amy Walsh has been in there all day. She's been working hard fight for all the balls. She's been doing kind of a lot of the dirty work, you know, the stuff you don't pay too much attention to, but you need two or three players on every good team like that. CC backing up. Fitchin will take this free kick. Winding down to about two and a half minutes now. Wagner can't get it. Here comes Clemens, but Brian will beat her to it, but that's a throw in for Philadelphia. Clemens wisely taking all the time she can. And then some. <laughs> yeah, she was. Into the corner goes. This will be a goal kick for the Rays. All right, about two minutes to go. You hate to see that, but that's good gamesmanship oh, yeah. there. You like to see it out of your own team when you're winning. It's frustrating when it's happening to your your team. Clemens bangs that one right back to Bean. 
Lucia sends it toward the center of the field. Wagner backing up. Here comes toward Horvath. Cleared by Teachin. Danya's after it. Now Fair is going to win the ball. Danya's there again. Uh, headed up toward Dorn. Trying to send it the other way, but Boy has it back. Here's Bean coming out of the area to clear it away and they come over the sideline for a throw in. Well, we're down to a minute. 15 seconds here. Time slipping away from the Cyber Rays. Be a tough one to swallow, John. They had the lead at two to one. Yeah, it'll be a little disappointing, but they're still they still have an opportunity here. Getting word that we will have two minutes of extra time here. Due to injury stoppage. That's plenty of time to score a couple of goals. Oh, there you go. They really have to throw caution to the wind. And they have to send everybody they can forward. It doesn't really matter if they lose four to two. No. Long throw. Danya's battling down there with Enos. Back to Bean, who'll clear it with their left foot, but that'll give away a throw in again. So we'll have an extra two minutes tacked on beyond the 90 minute mark. Philadelphia defense, the last couple of minutes, has done a good job of blunting the Rays' attack. Yeah, they've, they've, played, they've played well, especially after they get the lead. That's a tough, tough one. She'll feel that tomorrow, too. Good head ball. Second time Brian's hit the deck hard, that time from way up in the air. Enos has a loss over the sideline throw in, so we got about two minutes left for the injury time. The old John Wooden. Maxim applies, John, be quick, but don't hurry. You gotta make the most of your chance. And as I said, the last couple of minutes, Philadelphia's defense is doing very well. There's a long ball for Brandy. Two defenders there. Brandy and Mitz. And it's over the sideline, going to Philadelphia. And she's worked pretty hard today. She's trying to get something, create something up front. She's been in the midfield. Sometimes the legs just tire out on you. And we're inside 90 seconds, we'd assume. There's Wagner sending it to the middle of the field. McDowell gets it over to Fair. And Fair wisely sends it the other end, offside on Clemens. And Lakeisha, she's got to get out there and get it forward. Get it forward into the box, into their box with a long ball. Brian ready to take it. Ready back to midfield. Clemens wins it. About a minute to go. Set the other way. Back to Bean. So maybe one good rush, possibly two for the Rays here to tie this game. And Walsh misses that one, and he gives it back to Philadelphia. Try to get the turn on that head ball, but it didn't work out. Yeah, and they're not pressuring Lakeisha, so she needs to take that ball forward, dribble it forward, and strike it with the foot from the ground. Right. And even on this turf, Hal, you even have time to flip it up and kick it. We're down to the last 20 seconds. The uh, Rays need an interception, and quick move the other way. CC's got it. This might be their last chance. Race for it on the right side. Philadelphia's defense. Well, they can clear. Up to line. CC is going to get to it. CC. Knocked away from Wagner. And the Rays may be out of time. Out it goes to midfield. Bean will quickly send it the other way. Over the sideline. And that's it. It's over the Philadelphia charge. Remain undefeated. They come from behind with a pair of goals. In the last 34 minutes, Olaf started with the equalizer and Demko with the winner. Philly wins it, three to two. So there's a look at the happy charge team that remains undefeated, three two, the charge wins it. We'll be back to wrap things up here in Philadelphia. So stay with us. Sam couldn't get the sales girl's attention in this shishi boutique, so we gave her the latest super cut. Let's see if it works. Well, there you go. A super cut is a super way to get attention. Super cuts as hip as you want to be. It's tough making friends at a new school, so we gave Sally here a fresh new look. And had Guatemalan pop sensation Paolo help carry her books. Be super popular with a super cut.
Supercuts, as hip as you want to be. Rain, stop. Traffic, you. CD, play. Climate control, on. The Infinity Q45, with voice-activated controls. Lights, green. The rest of the world should be so accommodating. The new Q, from Infinity. Well, that's a disappointed group, uh, Bay Area Cyber Rays, who rallied to take the lead here in the second half, only to see Philadelphia come back with a pair of goals to win it by a final score of three to two, and they almost tied it up, but a look at the Togo's save of the game here, John. Yeah, this was a fine save. Good corner in, knocked out, cleared. Good first time shot, and she came up big on that one. Saskia Weber making the big play. Here's a look at the Tony Alba's final stats. Cyberays with a big advantage in shots and shots on goal, but it wasn't to be. They just got to keep their heads up, keep fighting. They created a lot again today, and, and unfortunately, they were on the wrong end of things. So the Rays suffer their second loss, and now come home for a three-game homestand as we look at this corner kick that set up the winner. The Rays lose by 3-2. to two. Thanks for being with us. We'll be on there at 2 o'clock next Sunday from Spartan Stadium for the Carolina Courage. So we'll see you then. So long from Philadelphia.